Oz was your big move, right? Yeah. Yeah. How did that come about? Well, I was uh, living in Los Angeles, broke, uh, trying to get roles and stuff, and um, I called my agent that was in New York and just said, you know, is there anything happening in New York? And she just said, there's a show, but all the big roles have gone. Uh, she actually sent me uh, a one-way ticket, brought me to New York just to audition for the show. Uh, Alexa Fogel was the casting director. And I was so desperate to earn, I did an audition for them in every accent that I could. And she took me from that audition to the house of the writer and producer of the show, which was Tom Fontana. She took me to his house and said, do for him what you just did for me. And Tom said, you've got one minute. I did that in his house. And uh, he said, I like the African character. Now, it was a two-line character. I had two lines. Um, and yeah. with, each, with each episode, he liked what I was doing and would add more. And by the end of the first season, he was the main character. How much did you like it? You know what? It, it was a wonderful period in, in, in my life as a young actor because this was probably the first time I got to show my acting chops and range because over TV you get the chance to flesh out a character. And um, Tom was wonderful because we, he was writing for a character, but he didn't know the Nigerian vernacular. The character was basically Nigerian. So he would write it in English and allow me to interpret it how I wanted. So there was a lot of freedom. And I recall some of the uh, directors saying, well, he's not saying what's on the page. And Tom would say, listen, just let him do his thing. I'll cut out what I need. And what that did, it gave me such creative freedom to create this character. And uh, we got something quite unique out of that relationship. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.